because sometimes I feel like the stories are just coming to me and shit without much effort, okay? So, you know, I guess I'm going to file this one under the... I'm going to file this one under teachable moments and shit for, uh, you know, for the kings out there, okay? And some brothers, they might be clueless. Former mayor or mayor Bill de Blasio and his first lady and first lady McCray are, uh... <laughs> Oh, shit, they're getting a divorce, man, okay? They're getting a fucking divorce. Uh, this wife's name is uh, Shirlane McCray, all right? Now you can see her, right? She ain't no snack, bro. She looked like, uh, you know, <laughs> you know, we calling people a snack and shit, you know, calling women a snack and everything. You know, I know don't, I'm not tr trying to be sexist, but I am a misogynist, anarchist and shit. This bitch ain't no snack, okay? And since I was in the military, we're going to call her an MRE. <laughs> she is a she is a MRE man that's an army meal that's some shit they come in a bag in a plastic bag you rip it open and pour some canteen water in there and eat that shit <laughs> no sorry man you know hey you know one man's trash is another man's treasure and shit okay and they make it like a nice power couple I think they got a kid and shit needs an adult or something I ain't trying shit on the family or nothing but you know I do want to talk about this they're getting a fucking divorce but no one is moving out. They're staying in the same house. They're just dating other people and shit. Supposedly, she's one of these feminists and shit. You know, I haven't really been exposed to her too much and shit. I think, she, you know, they're over there in that New York. And I, I'm here in the Midwest in Chicago and shit. And, you know, I'm tired of talking about our idiot uh, mayor-elect and shit. <laughs> so, yeah, I was talking to this fucking uh, former mayor of Bill de Blasio. And, you know, this uh, First Lady McCray. That's why I call her Shirlane McCray. That, you know, they're getting this divorce and they're staying in the house and they're going to date other people. And she described it as she just wants to have fun. She just wants to have fun. Apparently, she wasn't having fun with her fucking husband who she married and shit. Okay, I don't even know what her career was before she even got married to this dude. Nor do I give a fuck because she is, she busted, okay? She gets a fucking F from the neck up. I don't know, man. She know how to do it or something, you know? She might get... You know, I don't know. Now, looking at the de Blasio, he ain't no prize either and shit, but he's like a tall guy. You know, he got the complexion for protection and shit. He got the money, you know. So, I don't know. What I call, you know, I don't know. And I don't know if she was a virgin when they met him or nothing. She already had some, some notches on her panties, you know. <laughs> and if that latter is true, I, feel, I just shake my motherfucking head. I shake my motherfucking head, man. And the reason I'm tripping about this is because the whole stand in the house shit, you know, and they're friends, they're buddies, you know, they've been together for like 20 plus odd years, 20 plus years. Got a kid, I guess, you know. Yeah. They're gonna they're gonna go their separate ways, still live on the same roof and date other people and they're gonna see each other. I'm like, well, you know, he if he's real comfortable with that and shit, they must have already been swinging or something. You know, I mean it's a good way to come out of the closet but not come out the closet. I don't know, but like for you young kings out there and shit, this is what I want to tell you about, like, hey, fuck that shit, okay, fuck them good breakups, just make a clean fucking breakup, like like when you got like a Ginsu, like a knife, a cleaver, you cut something clean, you cut it clean and shit, okay, fuck being friends, okay, women don't want to uh, have any accountability for their behavior or their shitty, anything they shitty they've done, they don't, you know, they don't, the, our first instinct as men is to fall on our sword. You always hear guys talking about, well, you know, I could have paid better attention and this and that. And that. No, no, no. You have to be unapologetically masculine and selfish to a fault. Okay? Like the women that we interact with, you know, that we were interacting with before people started waking up. All right? Fuck that friendship. And fuck that stand on the same roof and a bitch is dating another person and this. Because invariably you're going to have some kind of conversation or some kind of like, dust up and shit, and the chick's gonna make it known, like, oh, you're just jealous because this and that, and you, the whole idea about this, like, fuck it, fuck that friend shit, and let, letting women get off the hook and shit, is so that they can never smell like a rose. That they, you know, like that old Outcast song, Roses or whatever, they said those roses smell like boo-boo and shit. And that's for real. Those roses do smell like shit. And you shouldn't be in no fucking place where you don't have complete control of that shit, okay? Complete control. Now, they talk about this imaginary patriarchy in, in the black community, the ethnic black community. This here's, you know, colonies and shit down here. 
Okay, they talk about that imaginary patriarchy. We're going to build that shit for real. Don't be in no place where you don't have control of your space, okay? And when you guys are breaking up and all that shit, sell the house, all that, split all that shit down the middle. Okay, don't lie about shit. And when your this son comes on and says, hey, why y'all getting a divorce and shit? Well, your mother wants to date other people. She says she just wanted to have fun, son. Maybe you should go ask her about that. Ask her why she would, uh, you know, say that to her husband of 20-odd years. I've been respectable and hadn't done anything fucked up that she doesn't know about. That it wasn't uh, connected to my career. You know, because he is a politician. He has to do fuck. He has to do something strange for some change on some level. All right? Nothing's clean. Like Eddie Griffin said, nobody gets out clean, even the white man. Even the white man, okay, on some level, all right? Don't they have to go through to be in those those circles and shit? And I don't give a fuck about this dude, but I just think he looks like one of the biggest simps I've seen in a while, okay? I mean, goddamn, he, he, he should just have uh, Steve Harvey over to his house and Steve, Steph Curry and shit, you know, how them motherfuckers come over. You know, Will Smith can show up too, but, you know, it might get too weird if he shows up and shit, unsupervised by his handler, Jada Pinkett. <laughs> man, look at his fucking wife, man. I remember when I first heard this shit, I started laughing my fucking ass off when, when I seen what she looked. When I looked at her, when I looked at him as a couple of shit. I mean, he could still get he, he anything since they're gonna be friends and everything like that. I'm like, <laughs> anything he put his dick in is an upgrade after looking at what his fucking wife. Okay, anything he put his dick in is an upgrade. Even if he put his dick in a, in a pile of dog shit. Yeah, I said it. He's fucked up. And I feel I feel confident saying that shit because we get dragged so much. You know, I once saw a video with that with a certain bitch I hate, and she was talking about how like she was ripping black men, like older black men, like a new one. And she was, was so uh O C D about it, she talked about like a motherfucker had spaces in his teeth and shit. And I saw I have a, some footage somewhere of a sugar baby talking shit about a dude that's paying her bills. And she was laughing, talking about he can't even walk right. But you open your legs to that nigga and shit. And I'm just saying, don't let women come out of this shit smelling like a rose. They can't take no fucking accountability. And part of this new world is new equality, gender equality, diversity, inclusion, representation, and androgyny is the invisible thing they don't want to tell you. You know, it's that they're going to have to accept a, a new way of thinking and shit, okay? Whether they like it or not, okay? The... The playing ground is leveled and shit. Even the sexual marketplace and shit is now globalized. All right? For the enterprising youth. You know, you guys that's too stupid or have been raised, uh, you know, dirt and shit, you know, by your single parent household, uh, you're going to be the ones that's going to be picking up these scraps and these, these Teletubby looking motherfuckers and, you know, these misandrists and these criminal minded bitches that might take you out and shit or give you something, you know, give you a little special present. Or hit you up with an illegitimate kid and shit. And claim it's yours, you know. It's fucked up, man. Things are changing. They're changing it, you know, slower or faster than I, I would think they would have. But, you know, it's a whole new world and shit. But Bill de Blasio and this first lady and shit. You know, Shirlane McCray, who is fucked off, man. She is fucked off, man. She must got some bad-ass skills, man. She must got some mega skills. In the bed, or he could just be one of these white dudes that like always wanted to be with a dark skinned black woman and shit. And they, any kind of black chick, it could be any bitch that showed up. And this motherfucker gonna have a coming to Jesus moment and shit. I've seen a lot of those, you know. At least I had this uh, dude that was mad at me. I said, No, this Jewish dude that was mad at me because he always had like a plethora of like black chicks and shit, and it was all busted. And like, we'd sit up, me and my friends would sit up and laugh, and this motherfucker would flip us the bird. Like, fuck you, you swatcha. He called us swatcha. If you hear somebody say that and you're a black person and shit, you need to beat the fucking brakes off the ass like Rodney King. Because that means the N-word. All right? That's what they call us. All right? It's Bill de Blasio, man. His uh, his first lady, Charlene Mc, Mc, uh, McCray. You know? He gave my kid. They getting a divorce and shit. And they said they were they had a, like a, a two, two months prior to them announcing the divorce, they sat down and had a face to face and decided that they would uh, get, you know, split up, but still live in the same house and see other people and shit. And I know that was all. That sounds like something a woman would come up with some crazy ass fucking idea. She want him. She's one of these people. She probably been cheated on this motherfucker before. 
and then told him about it, and then watch him, you know, she talking about it, it just devastates the guy, but, you know, because he's a cuck and shit, he probably get out like a boner, and then, like, they have sex, and, and it's, like, the greatest shit ever, because it's so toxic and codependent and shit, and you have to break these fucked up systems and shit, a lot of these sisters got some deep-seated self-hate uh, issues, okay, and it's not your job to be the fucking therapist, so your job is to survive this shit, your job, black man, is to survive their, uh, mental or their personal issues and shit unscathed by being unapologetically masculine selfish to a t and shit okay this is where i say it uh protect your bag and tangibles keep your head on the swivel uh above all else protect your seed and shit you could be having a baby with you know shirlane mccray and shit or a version of her that looks even more fucked up almost a purity of a human being and shit like a let me stop. Sorry. SYSBM equals save yourself, black man. This message has been paid for by the Dusties. Yes, the niggas you love to hate.